Hi, I'm Tom Anderson, a senior BlackBerry developer evangelist with Research in Motion. Today, we're going to talk about packaging and launching your applications with Ripple. We're going to cover three basic topics. We're going to look at packaging. How do we accomplish packaging? What does it do for us? We're going to talk briefly about signing, whether you need to sign your application. And finally, we'll look at launching it onto the simulator so we can test our WebWorks application out in the simulator. We're going to start with Google Chrome. As you know, Ripple is a Google plugin, so I'm going to go ahead and load my application, the Zen Lottery application, into Google Chrome and have it pop up within the Ripple emulator. Now, the first thing I need to do, since I'm going to package and launch this application, is to start services. So over here on the right, you'll see a series of buttons. One at the top, underneath this red text, says Start Services. I'm going to go ahead and click the Start Services button. That's going to pop up a window that's going to tell me uh, it's starting in production mode and Picard boldly goes to port 9910. Once you see that, then you're ready to go. Okay. Next, we're going to want to package our application. Now, packaging the application just takes all our assets, puts them together into a bar file, and make it ready to deploy to the simulator, a device, or upload into AppWorld. But before we package, we need to set up our settings. So we're going to go ahead and click here on the Settings button. And you'll see a dialog box pop up that's looking for several different categories. Build information, the SDK path, the project root, archive name, output folder. Our signing information, passwords to our keys and a bundle number. And our launching information. Let's focus on the build information for now. We want to come up with the SDK path. That's the location where we have installed, in this case, the Tablet WebWorks SDK. To get that path is really pretty simple. If you're on a Windows machine, I'm going to go ahead and bring up Windows Explorer, and I'm going to navigate to where I installed the SDK. Open my local disk, go to Program Files x86, because I'm running in 64-bit. Uh, go down to RIM, Research in Motion, and WebWorks SDK. So now I've navigated to where I installed the SDK. To get the actual path that I want, all I have to do is come up to the address bar and click once. That will change all that Windows information into a normal path. I then go ahead and copy that, right click copy, go back to Ripple and paste it in. I do the same thing for the project root. My project is in my WW root in my Zen Lottery directory. Click once in the address bar right click copy and paste now the archive name that's the name of the bar file that I want created I'm gonna call it Zen lottery because that's the same title as my application and for the output folder well let's put that in my documents BB10 folder and that's all I have to do now I'm ready to package that app. I go ahead and click the package button and what it does is it goes out, makes the calls behind the scenes and packages up that application. When it's all done, it'll go ahead and pop up and tell me that the build was successful. Now, if I want to deploy this to the playbook simulator, I need to make sure my playbook simulator is loaded and in development mode. I know it's in development mode when I see this icon here. I click that icon to get the IP address. 192.168.237.129. Your IP address may vary, so make sure you write down that IP address. Then I press Control Alt to return control to the window and out of the simulator. And I come back to the Settings button, and down here at the bottom, I enter that IP address 192.168.237.129. Now notice I have put nothing in the sign area. When you launch to the simulator, you do not need to sign your application. So I'm all done. Now I can go ahead and click Package and Launch. And it'll go out and in the background, it'll start to package up my application again and get ready and deploy it out to the simulator. So let's pop on over here and watch for it to pop up in the simulator. Okay, and there we go. Now, depending on the size of your application, the speed of your machine, and other things, your launching time may take less time, may take more time. Um, you can see the results happening along in that window that was launched up, the Picard window. So you can keep an eye on the results there. So here, we've now got our application running in the simulator. I can do my 
my drawing. Let's do uh, let's do ten Powerball drawings. Um, oh, little another trick with the simulator. If you want to rotate it, drag from the lower right corner to the middle, and that will rotate your simulator. Okay. So today we took a quick look at packaging and launching with Ripple. We figured out that packaging is all about taking your assets, putting them together, and building that bar file. We realized that if all we're doing is deploying to the simulator, we didn't need to sign, so we don't have to go through the process of signing the application. And finally, we learned how to launch it in the simulator by learning the IP address from developer mode and then clicking the package and launch. Okay. I've hoped you learned a little bit about Ripple, and we'll put it in your toolkit to use it for your development mode. I'm Tom Anderson, Senior BlackBerry Developer Evangelist, and we'll talk again.